Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jocogov.org. Dr. Somi Areola, the director for the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment. Uh, and I want to just give an update about um, the trends uh, that we're seeing in our data. Uh, our cases are increasing, uh, which again is an indication of uh, increased uh, transmission of the virus in the county. Um, from the time that we rolled things back and we increased uh, social interactions, the virus uh, activity has increased, more so in the past uh, few weeks where we've gone from about 14 uh, cases a day to 29 cases a day a week after that to 45 cases a week after that and 80 cases after that and to over 100. Uh, however, I remain uh, very optimistic and very happy that uh, the Board of County Commissioners uh, approved the mask mandate. I'm very appreciative of businesses that are uh, uh, cooperating voluntarily and requiring requiring masks to be worn in their in their in their establishment. The more of us that will wear masks, the more effective that will be. The quicker we'll see the results, um, and we're hoping not just to stay flat, but to decrease transmission to where we were a few weeks ago. If transmission uh, is um, is reduced. We are pretty sure that we can keep our activities going, we can keep our economy going, uh, we can begin to have conversations around opening schools. The transmission is pretty high and uh, we, can, it can, we cannot continue along that same tr uh, trajectory if we want to uh, continue to do the things that, that we are doing. And the question always is around uh, where is, are the increases in transmission coming from? It is, uh, we are finding a lot more cases in our younger population, in uh, our 20 year olds, our 30 year olds, and recently more in our teenagers. And so, uh, if, if this is not the time to have parties in the home, I understand there are graduation and other things going on, uh, but the risk of transmission is, is very high. Uh, there are trends that we see in terms of where we are most likely. Uh, likely to find uh, infections. It's where people have close contacts, whether at bars or nightclubs or in close parties at home. So as much as possible, uh, at this time, we are uh, uh, pleading that you avoid those kind of situations. Right now, if we get 90, 95, 100% of us to wear masks, we think we're gonna be okay. If not, then we have to begin to look at maybe taking additional steps to ensure that we re reduce the risk to our most vulnerable population. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jocogov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.